What's up you guys, my name is Brennan with Trail 4Runner and Trail Tacoma. Today we're going to be installing a set of these Morimoto XB LEDs into the second gen Tacoma. And these are the fog lights, so we're replacing the whole fog light housing. This is the factory fog light housing, these are the Morimoto XB LEDs. The process for installation is super simple. All you need is just a ratchet. If you don't have one of these, that's fine. You can just use whatever ratchet you have and a drill. And then the only other part of this install that may get tricky is there's exposed positive and negative wire that you need to clip into this little housing that they provide. That's super simple as well. I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's get started. All right, before we actually install the fog lights, we're gonna make sure that the positive and the negative leads coming off of the fog lights are coming into the clip in the correct orientation. So this is your two pin connector clip, and this is your little retaining clip right here that's gonna connect on the other side and hold the other clip into place. So you wanna make sure that the negative wire is on this side of that retaining clip and obviously the positive is on this side of the retaining clip. So if you're looking at it vertically, you'd want the black to be on the left side and the positive red to be on the right side. So that's the correct orientation of this retaining clip. If for whatever reason you get those reversed and you need to reverse the polarity, meaning the positives on the left and the negatives on the right, you'd need to switch them. So to do that, you can do that, it's pretty simple. Inside the two pin connector clip, you're gonna have two pins, obviously, the positive and the negative, and then right next to those pins, you're gonna have plastic clips that hold those pins into place. So using a flathead screwdriver, very small flathead screwdriver, you're gonna wanna insert your flathead screwdriver right next to that pin and you're gonna to wanna to push away that piece. And at the same time, as you're pulling away, you wanna pull down on the lead. So you wanna grab a lead like this and start pulling it down with your fingers. Gonna pull away that sleeve. And you wanna be pulling away on it. As I'm grabbing up here, you're tugging down. And then you wanna push that small plastic clip away from the pin. See if you can, there you go, just like that. So if you do, for whatever reason, reverse your polarity and you need to switch them back, that's how you do that. You have two leads and they go into the connector just like that. And then you should hear a little click. Perfect. So that is the correct orientation of the Morimoto XB LED fog lights. And before we get these installed, I want to show you the diodes in there. Those three yellow marks in there, those are the actual LEDs. They're also called diodes. Those are the three diodes that are in the Morimoto XB LED headlights or fog lights. And those combined equal about 1200 lumens. So for both sides, both fog lights, you're at about 2,400 lumens. Per light, you're at about 1,200 lumens. And those three diodes are what is producing those lumens. These Morimoto XB LEDs are actually pretty sweet. You can adjust the beam pattern using this adjustment screw right here. So if you want your fog light beam pattern to be angled up a little bit or angled down a little bit, it's pretty simple. All you do is adjust this adjustment screw using a screwdriver and that will adjust the fog light beam pattern up or down. It already comes with a little bit of preload on it. So it's really simple. Just make sure whatever you adjust on the passenger side, you adjust on the driver's side. So the first thing you wanna do for the install is start with these two 10 millimeter bolts right here. Then you have two more underneath, one right there and one over there. Then you can push your fender liner back. 
then you can just bend your fender liner back out of the way. Really simple. Next, you should have access to your actual fog light housing. There are two Phillips head screws on the right hand side. Just go ahead and remove those. Then once you have the actual headlight housing out of the pocket, you can bring this thing out and just super simple to just unclip this little harness right there and you're done. All right, so before we actually install the fog light housing into the pocket, we wanna make sure that polarity is correct on that harness. So all we're gonna do is turn the truck on ignition and then plug in the factory harness to the Morimoto XB LED harness. And then wow, you should have light if you don't have light, that means you need to reverse the polarity right there. Just swap the positive and negative leads coming off the Morimoto XB LED. If you do have light, now you can install it into your fog pocket. All right, you guys, so this is from inside the bumper looking out of the fog light housing. It's really simple to reinstall these guys. You have these two tabs right here. Those two tabs are gonna hook into these housings right here. So you're just gonna slide it and hook it in just like that. So, uh, uh, just hook those in first and then you're gonna have your Phillips head screws that you're gonna put in there and suck it down. All right, you guys, so I just wanna throw a zip tie on this guy right here. I wanna throw it around the body of this harness right here. And that's it. Now I'm gonna come back with some dikes and cut those off. And then once you have your zip tied harness, then you can come back in. And tighten down your fender liner. And there's one more right there. And that's it. All right, let's start with the actual beam spread. Look at how far that fog light spreads out to the right. It's spreading out like another six to eight feet past the low beams, which it should, it's a fog light but I just wanna show you guys how clean, crisp, and nice that cutoff line is and how far out it goes. This is, no joke, what it looks like out of the box. Look at that beam pattern. That is like perfect right there. That is solid. That is out of the box, perfect all the way across. That color is super smooth, 5500 Kelvin, super nice. Definitely gonna need to get those low beams replaced ASAP. But those fog lights, damn, that is super nice. I've installed a couple fog lights before straight out of the box and they don't line up side to side. Either you have to clock them with a dial or you have to adjust them with the adjustment screw. And these do have the adjustment screw, so it's super nice. If you want to adjust the passenger or driver side up or down, you just adjust that adjustment screw. So super simple, uh, but damn, that looks really good. Straight out of the box, great color, super easy install. Price is on point if you want full housings. Yeah, really nice. All right, you guys, that's it. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, let's talk about a couple things. Install, the install is super easy, minimal tools. We're talking ratchet, screwdriver, zip ties, always have zip ties, uh, basic stuff here. Pretty simple, plug and play. Install time is probably 20 minutes, if that, taking video and shooting photos and stuff. So maybe a half an hour, 15 minutes each side. Uh, and if you get polarity wrong twice on both lights, maybe a little longer, uh, depending on your patience level with a minimal screwdriver getting that little pin out. So install is pretty simple. The color temperature, these are 5500K, which is Kelvin. K stands for Kelvin. The temperature is pure white from about 500, sorry, 5000K to 6000K. It's pure white. So 5500 is right in the middle of pure white. If you go too far, you're going cool blue, like 7,000 Kelvin, 8,000 Kelvin, that's really blue. If you're going really low, like 4,300 Kelvin, that's yellow. So if you're at 4,500 Kelvin, that's like yellowish white. And then 8,000 Kelvin, that's really blue, like I said. So it's pure white is the color. You can see it back there. <clears throat> it's really clean, really cr crisp. I haven't adjusted the cutoff line yet, so I might need to do that the cutoff line of the beam pattern. So might need to do that. 
And then for the price, the Morimoto's, the fog light housings are, I think 200 bucks or something like that. If you're looking for a cheaper option to something like this, you could go with a actual bulb. You could go with like a Xenon Depot Extreme LED Pro 5500K, and that's just gonna go you know, straight in here. This is your bulb, right? This bulb is gonna pop right into this housing here. And there you go, you're gonna have a bulb. So that's about 130 bucks, I think, and that's a 5500K color bulb. They also have that in a yellow, so I think it's like a 2700K. You could throw that in there too if you wanted a yellow fog light, which is super popular. I really like yellow fog lights and amber too. Or you can put Laminex over the front, so it's just a piece of film you put right over the front, and Laminex is super popular. They make really good film. You can get it in yellow, you can get it in amber, blue, gun smoke, black, whatever color you want, they probably make it. So, and that's like five bucks for a piece of film that goes over a fog light. So if you're super cheap, you're running on the broke side of life, then get yourself some Laminex and just put some Laminex on the front. And yeah, it's like five bucks. It could be 15 bucks. I don't know. Go check Amazon. Link's in the description. But uh hope you guys liked it. Take care.